This is my homemade sailboat and it's the largest and most challenging project that I've ever built. Literally after years of construction, she's almost finished, but I'm starting to run into multiple problems. Thus, I need to share some info with you guys. All right. First, I just wanna say I'm extremely sorry for not posting you know, videos. I'm terrible at staying consistent regarding uploads. I am trying to get better though, and I have more info to share with you guys about this, but I'll do that in a little bit. On a more personal note, I am a senior in high school and I'm applying to a bunch of different colleges, so I've been pretty busy with that process. If you've been in my shoes, you know how much of a pain in the it is. It's an experience, but a, a lengthy one. So I'm choosing the early action plan for all of my college choices, which means that all applications are due on November 1st. So after that day, I'll finally be done with all the college crap and have more time for you guys and my many projects, most importantly the boat. I've also been trying to keep my grades up, so I've been prioritizing school over making videos. It's paid off though, and it, this feels great because I actually have time to build stuff and film and edit for you guys. All right, with that all said, the boat itself is actually very close to getting in the water. Oh my god, bro, look at it. Look, what? What? We got it sailing, it works. Building wise, all that I have left to do is build the keel, build the rudder, paint her, fully seal the exterior, and get all the rigging done. Also, since she's over eight feet long, I have to follow the Coast Guard rules and regulations. This just means I need a bunch of lights and safety gear. Although this shouldn't be too difficult, I think all I have to do is fill out some DMV info. I'm, I'm not too sure though, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. For the interior, I know it looks very barren and empty, but as of right now, my main goal is to just get her in the water as soon as possible. I'm not too concerned about adding lights, kitchen stuff, sleeping pads, water tanks, etc. I just want to get her seaworthy at this point. It's, it's been way too long, so I'm pushing for that. Although I'm facing one massive problem, I have no way of getting her to the water. So in other words, I don't have a boat trailer, nor the budget to buy one. So if you guys know where to buy a cheap boat trailer, please let me know, it will really help. But that, that, that's the biggest challenge so far, is just, just getting her to the water. We'll make it work though, we'll make it work. Also, I've acquired another large project. I'm gonna blur it out because I'm not quite ready to share it yet. Now, don't worry, I am not gonna abandon the boat and switch over to this project. The boat's gonna get 100% of my attention as of right now because I know you guys really want more videos about it, so that's what I'm really gonna focus on. Although, I just wanna let you guys know that for the second project, I do have some videos ready to be posted and will be shared after I post this video. I just want to introduce you guys to the project and essentially get you familiar with it But I am not going to focus on it. The boat is still going to get 100% of my attention I can promise that before I wrap this up I have a few last things that I want to share with you guys first YouTube has actually been giving me some problems and going back to my posting schedule I have about 10 videos that are in the editing process regarding YouTube the story is way too long But put short I've been demonetized for the past few months now I know I may sound money hungry and that I only post videos for the money, but that, that it's completely untrue I love filmmaking and video editing in the first place so YouTube is just a great way for me to share my creations and inspire others to do the same. I've actually received some comments from you guys stating that I inspired you to build your own boats. This makes me incredibly happy to hear because the entire point of my YouTube channel is just to inspire you to make something. Going back to the monetization stuff, all the money I make I literally put directly back into the boat. So essentially you guys are funding the boat build simply by watching my videos. Since I'm not monetized I'm not making any money to put back into the boat. I'm also in the process of becoming re-verified, so I think I'm good. Not too sure, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Finally, regarding the 10 videos that are in the editing process, I just want you guys to know that they're not really about the sailboat. I made them over the summer while I was on some vacations, so I didn't have access to the boat. Some of those videos do include boating, but I'm not gonna spoil anything. Also, the content is quite unusual compared to what I usually post, but I think you guys will like it. I'm also trying to change up my editing style to make things more appealing and interesting, so let me know down below what you guys think. Thank you for listening to my ranting. I really just wanted to share what's been going on and what I've been up to with the boat. Hopefully some of this information was useful to you guys, but I don't know. Um, I have more videos coming out soon. I am sticking to a one week posting schedule. Might try to post two videos in a week. I don't know, we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna stay much more consistent regarding my uploads. So thanks, stay tuned for more.